little bit of time to kill, but we are flying from DMK up to Chiang Mai, so it's a really short little flight, but now we're going to go and get some coffee. So, we've quickly come to a Starbucks, because it turns out we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, like there isn't really a whole lot around here, but we're close to the Chatty Chat weekend market, but it's a Thursday, and we don't want to go around and sell bags anyway. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to stay here for, I don't actually think we're in long, maybe just under two hours. Um, drink some coffee, do a little bit of work, and then head to the airport. And hopefully it will go smoothly, unlike our last travel day, which if you saw that, was a total Come back, I will not be impressed. You know what's going to happen now is they're going to lose my bag now. Yeah, I'm hoping that these both actually come back to us now. <laughs> Alright, let's go check in. Okay, so we've come to an overpriced place because you can't sit anywhere. Short and to the point, 
as short as possible. If you would have seen the video before last where we were traveling to Bangkok and everything was going tits up, it was all going wrong. And you'll know that Airbnb were not our friends that day. It's been a bit of a struggle since then with various things, getting refunds, discussing the rules and the law and all of that kind of stuff. I won't bore you with it now. We would have covered it off in that video two videos ago. But all we'll say is we have spoken to the host, we have spoken to Airbnb and they have assured us that this is legal and licensed. And so, they would not give us a refund, so we couldn't do anything else. And because they assured right. us of everything being legal and legit, yeah, like we've got that down in writing in yeah. through our messages, so we're kind of covered on that part. So, but yeah. it's not even that we're covered, it's the fact that shortlets are legal as long as they're properly licensed, etc. etc. blah blah. So, and we have been assured that this is legal and it's licensed, so that's absolutely fine. I have no problem. Yeah. It's staying somewhere as long as it's legal. It is cool, but there's still signs everywhere saying tourists yeah. are not allowed. So that's yeah. a little bit off putting and it still makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable when you're walking through it with your bags. It really does. <laughs> and we are obviously tourists. Well, but... I've got the camera, I've got our backpacks. It's like, uh -huh. yeah. Well, and look at us. Yeah. We're not exactly locals, are we? <laughs> yeah, we're on our way out. We're going to find, we found a really cool little burger place and it's got loads of good reviews. So it's probably going to be quite expensive because that's what Western restaurants always are. But we think it'll be worth it, so fingers crossed. I need a big old burger. <laughs> she needs a big meal. Yes. Laura needs to be fed. I do. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> okay, this place is called Beast Burger, which I love. And they look so cute, like everything in this place so far. It looks so... It just looks amazing. It does look awesome. Let's head in. You like the logo? I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. But yeah, we ordered two big burgers and a side of sweet potato fries and a butter. And it came to 4 65 which is, what's 500 again? About 12 pounds. So it's probably about I didn't realise we got these, so I ordered these. But yeah, we get one each. Yeah. Not a bad deal. They're like a good size. They're not like so big that you know, like you can't even pick it up, which sometimes I feel like they're too big. So it's good. It's pretty good. That was so messy. Mm-hmm. Couldn't make a mess of that. It is really messy, but it's so tasty. All of two minutes. I and went I down quick. And it was gone. <laughs> it was so yummy. The best burger I've had in a while. Really, really tasty. It's probably the, the best in Asia, in right? Best in Asia, definitely. Right. And the sauce is yeah. so good. Just the yeah. burger sauce. So, yeah, I could eat this. Like, I could eat another one right now. Like, mm -hmm. it was that good. But yeah, Tony got the blue cheese one and the sauce is so rich. Very tasty. It was very good. I am very happy with that. Mm -hmm. Seriously, so good. We had that one. We had that one. I feel like we've got to come back and try some more. <laughs> Beast burger. I love it. I think we can easily recommend that, right? Oh, for sure. We went out with... Oh, there's a plane. Whoa. That is low. For sure. 100% it's amazing you have to go <laughs> all right let's head off back in our room oh we're going hello we're gonna put all this stuff away and just before we go tonight I thought we'd just mention we are in Chiang Mai for three weeks starting today <laughs> <laughs> And for the first week, we are here in the Nimmin area. And then for the last two weeks, we're closer to the center of kind of like the more touristy area, the old town area. Um, 
The reason for that is simply a bit of bad planning on my part, um, mistimed a few things, so we had this extra week at the beginning, which is now, um, but it's turned out well because it means we get to see two different parts of the town, of the city, it's cool. and uh, yeah. And yeah, I just wanted to say as well, first impressions of Chiang Mai, and this really is first impressions, we've of been in Nimen, like yeah. two minutes, it's really cool, like the mm -hmm. restaurants all look really nice and just funky, they're all a bit different. Yeah, this area is really nice, like all the restaurants, all the bars, like Tony said, they're just so cute. And really inviting. Just, yeah, like really modern, really hip, like you can see why a load of people stay here for a longer period of time. Yeah, and just walking around is easy, like the traffic mm. is quite busy, but it's not hard to cross a road and things like that make a no. big difference. And but from yeah, the looks cool. of things, it has like everything you would need, but we're going to find out more about all of that when we go and explore properly yes. tomorrow. But for now, I think we'll say goodnight. I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, good night, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Whoa, there's a step there. Jesus. Your ass over tip. Help if it wasn't in Chinese. And some weird ornaments with this person flashing, flashing us. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, if you've seen our other vlogs, you will know that these right here are rare. <laughs> These are so rare to the point where I actually carry my own spatula. Lorna actually bought a spatula. I actually have one in my bag. <laughs> I know. I'm not good with doors. Lorna literally can't do doors. I can't do doors. It's one of my, it's one of my issues. Okay, so we're not vlogging today, but we thought we had to round off the story of Tony's bag. <laughs> My bag apparently turned up last night <gasps> mm. to the hotel. So I went down there this morning just to see, uh, just to let him know that my bag might be turning up and he went, ah, oh, bag. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yes, that's my bag. Um, I brought it back up to the room, all was cool. And um, what, by the looks of it, from this little thing here, it went onto a Nock Airlines flight. Um, but anyway, I put, my bag was kind of open. I was like, I kind of thought it would be, because I thought someone would open it and go, oh crap, that's not mine. But, everything's been taken out and put back in. And the person that thought it might have been their bag has literally gone through everything in my bag. It's all yeah. been like repacked, unstrapped. I mean, if it was me, and I made the mistake, I would open the bag and go, oh, that's not mine. I'd yeah. close it back up. I just think that's a bit weird. But anyway, my bag's here now. The it bag is like here. here. The mystery is over. Yeah, it looks like everything's here, so yeah, all is good. So this concludes the bag story. It concludes the bag story. Yay! Yeah. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that's it now. It doesn't happen again, but we'll see. The end. <laughs>